Seventh grade, unit six, lesson 20. Illustrative mathematics, combining like terms, part one. Problem number one. Andre says that 10x plus six and 5x plus 11 are equivalent because they both equal 16 when x is one. Do you agree with Andre? Explain your reasoning. Imagine x is zero. 10 times zero is zero plus six. That's six. Now let's look at the next one. 5 times x, and if x was 0, 5 times 0 would be 0, and 0 plus 11 is 11, and 6 is not equivalent to 11. So I would answer this like this. No, because when x is 0, they are not equivalent. Problem number 2. Select all expressions that can be subtracted from 9x to result in the expression 3x plus 5. A. A negative times a negative is a positive, and a negative times a positive is a negative. So we can rewrite this as 9x plus 5 plus a negative 6x, or and a negative 6x. We have terms with an x and terms that don't have an x. So we can combine the like terms. 9x minus 6x. That's 3x. Now we're left with two terms, 3x and a plus 5. And yes, that matches the original expression perfectly. B. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. We can rewrite this expression as 9x minus 5 plus 6x. Again, we have terms with an x and terms without an x. So we can combine the like terms. 9x plus 6x equals 15x. So now the expression reads 15x minus 5. Since 15x minus 5 is not the same as 3x plus 5, then no, this expression is not equivalent to the original expression. C. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a positive is a negative. So now this expression reads 9x minus 6x minus 5. There are terms with x's and there are terms with no x's. So let's combine the like terms. 9x minus 6x is 3x. So now the expression reads 3x minus 5. And since 3x minus 5 is not the same as 3x plus 5, then no, this expression is not equivalent to the original expression. D. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So now the expression reads 9x minus 6x plus 5. Let's combine the terms that have an x. 9x minus 6x is 3x. Now the expression reads 3x plus 5. And yes, 3x plus 5 matches the original expression. E. A negative times a negative equals a positive, and a negative times a positive equals a negative. So now the expression reads 9x plus 6x minus 5. Combine the like terms, 9x plus 6x equals 15x. Now the expression reads 15x minus 5. And since 15x minus 5 is not the same as 3x plus 5, then no, this does not match the original expression. Problem number three. Select all the statements that are true for any value of x. A. A positive times a positive is a positive, and a positive times a positive is a positive. So we can rewrite this as 7x plus 2x plus 7 equals 9x plus 7. Combine the like terms on the left side of the equal sign, and we have 7x plus 2x. 7x plus 2x is 9x. We're left with 9x plus 7 on the left side of the equal sign, and 9x plus 7 on the right side of the equal sign. So this statement would be true for any value of x. B. A positive times a positive is a positive, and a positive times a negative is a negative. So we can rewrite this as 7x plus 2x minus 1 equals 9x plus 1. Combine those like terms on the left side of the equal sign, and we have 7x plus 2x. 7x plus 2x is 9x. So on the left side of the equal sign, it reads 9x minus 1. Since 9x minus 1 is not the same as 9x plus 1, then this is false. C. A positive times a positive is a positive, and a positive times a negative is a negative. So on the left side of the equal sign, it reads 3x plus 10 minus 3x. 
the 3x minus 3x cancels each other out and we're left with 10 on the left side and 10 on the right side. That means that this statement is true because 10 equals 10. D, a negative times a positive is a negative and a negative times a negative is a positive. So we can rewrite this statement as 5x minus 8 plus 6x on the left side of the equal sign. Let's collect the like terms. We have 5x plus 6x. That's 11x. So we can rewrite it on the left side as 11x minus 8. And the right side is negative x minus 8. Since 11x minus 8 is not equal to negative x minus 8, then this statement is false. E. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a positive is a negative. So on the left side of the equal sign, we can rewrite this as 4x minus 2x minus 8. Let's combine the like terms. We have 4x minus 2x. That equals 2x. So on the left side of the equal sign, it reads 2x minus 8. On the right side of the equal sign, it reads 2x minus 8. Since these are equal, this statement is true. F. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So we can rewrite this on the left side of the equal sign as 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. So on the left side of the equal sign, it reads 4x plus 4. And on the right side of the equal sign, it reads 4x plus 4. Since they're the same, then this statement is true. Problem number four from 7th grade unit 6 lesson 13. For each situation, would you describe it with x is less than 25, x is greater than 25, x is less than or equal to 25, or x is greater than or equal to 25. A. The library is having a party for any student who read at least 25 books over the summer. Priya read X books and was invited to the party. In order to be invited to the party, she would have had to have read at least 25 books. That means that the number of books that she read was either equal to 25 or greater than 25. So we could use X is greater than or equal to 25. B. Kieran read X books over the summer, but was not invited to the party. Kieran was not invited to the party. So that means that Kieran must have read less than 25 books because you had to read at least 25 books to be invited to the party. We can represent the number of books Kieran read over the summer with X is less than 25. C. C is a number line with the point above the 25 colored in and the arrow is pointed to the left. That means X is less than or equal to 25. D. D is a number line that has the point above the 25 but it's not colored in. It's only circled and it's pointed to the right. That means that X is greater than 25. Problem number five. From 7th grade, Unit 2, Lesson 9. Consider the problem. A water bucket is being filled with water from a water faucet at a constant rate. When will the bucket be full? What information would you need to be able to solve the problem? You'd need to know the rate of the water flow, and you'd need to know the size of the bucket. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe right now, and you can watch another lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.